CMMI is basically a, 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 a system of procedures. Is it some kind of a body which uh, is it sort of free form for it? Is it kind of governing body which... Uh, yeah, it is a governing body but the more important thing is the underlying philosophy. It has laid down these criteria. I just okay. gave you one example right now. That CMMI says that okay, its auditors go to an organization. It first looks for the institutionalized knowledge. If they find it, they grade that software vendor to a higher level. Now, similarly, there are such laid down, many such laid down norms which the auditors check. And then they grade that software vendor to CMMI level 1, maturity level. I am coming to that in the next uh, slide. But before that, try to learn the basic philosophy. The basic philosophy is these CMMI has got these uh, norms laid down. And these norms are applied by the auditors yeah. on the software vendors. The software vendors pay for these audits. If they get a very high recommendation from these auditors. Can we say these are things like standardization bureaus? Yeah, these are standardizations. These are some standard questions asked. And uh, according to the answers given by the respective companies, the companies get different ratings. Now suppose you get CMMI level 5 which is the highest level. Then the company or the, the software vendor when they try to bid for a new job they can impress the client saying that look we have got CMMI level 5. So we, we offer you very high reliability that we must finish the project in time. We have got the manpower. We have got the institutional knowledge. Our system is very structured. So, the CMMI, ISO 9000, etc. These are all different standards and there are auditors which check if the respective software vendors are implementing those standards in their day-to-day -day operation and depending upon their audits, they provide different grades to the software vendors. And those grades are very important for the software vendors because depending upon those grades, they win their contracts. So that is the whole software quality assurance cycle. On the one side, there are software vendors. On the other side, there are standard standardization organizations. And there are auditors who are authorized by these standardization organizations to execute audits. Okay. So, this is uh, the starting of software quality assurance. Now, on top of that, suppose you even uh, uh, you hire a uh, company with CMMI 3 or 4. Even then, somebody should be there or a group of people should be there to monitor everything is running smoothly. Because ultimately, we are handling human beings who can change very easily. Okay. So, is, is uh, uh, clear up to here software quality? Okay, so software quality assurance consists of a means of monitoring the software engineering processes and methods used to ensure quality. It does this by audits of the quality management system. So this quality management system is what is audited. These standardized uh, norms, these standardized norms are to check their quality management system. If you have institutionalized uh, knowledge, that means you have got sound quality management system. There are many other key process areas like this uh, institutionalized knowledge that I just told you, which are checked by these auditors for the right answer. So under this course, the software quality assurance, is it these audits and quality management systems that are, that are studied? No. Under... Uh, under this course, we study two things. One is quality assurance and one is testing. These two are two separate activities. But sometimes 
one who is a testing expert takes up that quality assurance job also so that's why these two are uh, generally come uh, together that's why people learn both of them together so let's go to the next slide what does iso stand for It is actually, yeah, International Organization for Standards. Uh, and next one is CMMI. What does CMMI stand for? Capability Maturity Model Integration. Now, there is a brief story behind this CMMI thing. Now, United States military in long, uh, long back in 1980s then just this uh, computer software etc etc came into being so as america was always in the for, uh, in the forefront uh, as far as absorbing new technology is concerned so united states military thought that okay since uh, something new has come up we should uh, get the best out of it so they were trying to uh, design the new software things uh, for their own uh, purpose so they used to hire the software vendors to develop new things but they faced a big problem that is of reliability many software pro uh, projects had to be abandoned in the middle so they used to lose millions of dollars then they thought what to do about the problem now suppose you are in the place of United States military and you are facing this problem then what do you do? Well, ask somebody to test it on a small scale basis first and then bring it out into the Yeah, that is a part of the game but suppose you, you, uh, you ask someone to make a chapati and someone makes it correctly will you uh, ask the same person to do something more complex? And if someone fails, then what happens? Uh, I need a little more elaboration. Yeah, suppose you ask someone to do some small task and depending upon that someone's performance on that small task, if you assign a big task, there is a very big possibility that when that person faces that big and complex task, yeah. he may fail. Yeah. So, United States military went to Carnegie Mellon University and asked them to solve this problem. Then Carnegie Mellon University came up with a series of recommendations. They told, okay, you test this, 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 this things in an organization. If that organization has all these parameters implemented in their own quality system then you should be more sure that there is a good chance that this organization will execute your job correctly got my point yeah. so Carnegie Mellon University came up with this capability maturity model integration and that is now standardized now there are many companies like KPMG they are auditors they are authorized by this Carnegie Mellon University to execute these audits because they have been trained first on how to execute audits. So they so go. Is the MMI something similar to ISO? Yeah, they are the uh, same thing. I mean, they are just two different standards. Two different bodies. Two different bodies. Their okay. end goal is the same. Okay. Both of them try to guess the capability and the maturity yeah. of the organization in supplying the right kind of software solutions. Mm 